Okay guys, so in case you're wondering how the first day of my road trip started off, I stopped to get gas and I was like, oh my god, my wallet is in Hunter's car. For those of you who don't know, Hunter is my boyfriend. So I'm like in a frantic and I'm calling him. I'm like, how far are you? Down like the highway. Um, thankfully he was not that far. I was able to catch up to him and get my wallet. So we are that's how we're starting off this road trip so stay tuned after leaving my wallet and hunter's car and forgetting to close my gas tank um i have made it i am in newport rhode island i just stopped at walmart and i got some ice for my cooler and now i'm gonna go relax because i've been on the road since 6 30 and i don't want to do anything today so come check out the views with me There you have it, my adventure through Newport, Rhode Island and Block Island. So kicking day one off, I left at 6.30 in the morning. As you guys saw in the beginning of the video, there were quite a few issues, uh, but overall the day ended up turning out amazing. I did the cliff walk, I went and hung out on Easton's beach for a little bit. The water was very temperate, it was super clear, it was just beautiful. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but the water is like clear but it has like this reddish tint towards it which i don't know why it's like that but it's interesting looking into it um it made i don't know it was pretty interesting it made it look really beautiful so after easton's beach i moseyed down to kind of like their main street where i had dinner at the red parrot so i had a lobster roll and it was great i loved it i didn't end up eating all of the bread just because it was pretty hard and i don't know i just because i wasn't like vibing with the bread so i just ate the lobster and that was fantastic <laughs> um after that i found my way to castle hill for the sunset absolutely beautiful very secluded and very low-key so if you are not like wanting to be surrounded by people I would recommend going there going into day two I took the ferry to uh, Black Island so before I took the ferry I went to breakfast at Corner Cafe and I got like this amazing burrito like it was so big I only ate half of it so I'm gonna eat the other half for breakfast another day but my ferry departed at 9.10 from Newport. It was $50 for a round trip. It was an hour ferry. That was the high speed ferry. And I got to Block Island and I rented a bike and I was able to rent a bike for four hours and it was like 20 bucks. So not bad. Next time I'm paying the $60 to rent a moped for two hours because those hills are crucial. Crucial, I'm telling you, like I thought I was gonna like wither away like I ran out of water like I was like oh my gosh like I forgot sunblock so like it was it was not pleasant <laughs> um but it was beautiful like you can tour the entire island and I did it in under four hours so that was nice 
I went and saw the Northern Lighthouse and then I drove all the way, or not drove, I rode all the way to the other end of the island where I saw the Southeast Lighthouse and I went to the Mohegan Bluffs, which that is like the number one thing I would recommend was those Mohegan Bluffs. If I had more time for my bike rental, I would have hung out there for hours. It was beautiful. It's just a little bit lengthy of a walk. Um, but they do also offer car rentals. I don't know how much those cost. I really wasn't like vibing with a car rental. Um, but they have like a petting zoo, lots of restaurants and shops. Super cool. I ended up spending the rest of my time at Ballard's Beach Resort, which was awesome like they give you like little flag poles that they stick in the ground and you like raise the flag when you want food or drinks and they like come out and like get them for you and then they like lower the flag after they you know give it to you so that was cool I liked that I just vibed out the water was amazing like I swam out to like rocks and was like diving off of the rocks I made a friend there so shout out to Melanie um she was awesome it was super great just you know vibe with somebody during the day and took the ferry home back to Newport home yeah home for the night <laughs> um where I then went to Wally's Wieners only because of the name it's the only reason why I went there I thought it was a cool name I was like you know what I'm gonna check out your wieners, Wally. Um, so I got a veggie wiener and I added some cheese sauce and it was amazing. So yeah, I mean, that was day one and day two in Newport. Um, oh, while I was at Wally's Wieners, I met this awesome dude who's like a captain and let me park at his marina for the evening. So that was like super cool. But yeah, stay tuned for, you know, more stuff to come.